Happy spooky season, bitches! I am removing the flesh from the inside of the pumpkins, which is undoubtedly the fucking worst part of pumpkin carving. They stink. They fucking stink. Like rotten dead bodies. I assume a dead body smells like the inside of a pumpkin. I'm just gutting them out so that me and Jamie can carve them later when he gets home. I might try and make some pumpkin soup with the innards, the flesh, but I don't know if you, can you make pumpkin soup from like the stringy bits? Oh shit. It really smells awful. It smells quite horrendous. I've got my strongest candle burning to try and drown out the smell of the fucking pumpkin innards. Delicious. So how are we? Are we a fan of spooky season? I love Halloween. It's my favorite holiday. I used to be a Christmas girl growing up. Now, I've turned into a little bit of a Scrooge. Not a Scrooge, but I definitely don't enjoy Christmas as much as I used to. I just find the day itself is very underwhelming. I don't know. I'm more of a Halloween girly now. I love scary films. I love, oh my God, I look like a goblin hunched over. I love scary films. I love dressing up. My Halloween costume is very, very, very important to me. I take it very seriously. I find my Halloween costume just to be like a really fun little project to do, like a DIY project. Last year I was Catwoman, Michelle Pfeiffer's Catwoman, the best Catwoman, and I stitched all of the hand stitching into the jumpsuit and corset and stuff myself and made my own gloves and stitched my own mask and it was just so fun and I looked mighty fine, may I say. I looked mighty fine and I did win. I don't mean to toot my own horn. I did win best costume at the Halloween party I went to. Just putting that out there, whatever. I know some people don't like dressing up. It's not a lot of people's thing. I love it. I think it's because I've always wanted to be an actress and I have done acting in the past. And I think a big part of that is just wanting to be different characters and different versions of myself. And I guess that's what Halloween is. I don't know why I volunteered to do this. I said to Jamie, oh, while you're out, should I gut the pumpkins so that they're just ready to go later? And now <laughs> kind of regretting that. Okay, so the first pumpkin was fine. That one has been sufficiently good. <laughs> but this one, I didn't realize it has fucking mold all over the back. That is disgusting. And I stuck my hand in that before I realized I'm disturbed. I'm, I'm actually disturbed. Happy Halloween. So I'm gonna get Jamie to bring home a different pumpkin and we'll just deal with that one later. But this one, this one's ready to go. I've cut off the half, that's fine. It was completely fine, completely fine inside. And I'm gonna use that for the soup because I don't just wanna throw it away when it's actually completely fine. But aesthetically, it's not gonna do for a carving pumpkin. It's, you know, got a bit of Got a bit of a situation going on back there. But I'm gonna go make the soup. I'm gonna try and find a recipe online and just kind of, you don't need like a recipe recipe for soup. I usually just bung stuff in. But sometimes if I don't know how it started off, I will look at one and then use that as like a base recipe. You know what I mean? So let's make some punky soup. So for the soup, I really just winged it and made it up as I went along, but that's the beauty in soup. You can't just do that and it usually turns out delicious. I chopped up the pumpkin and then I chopped up some white onion. I feel like onion is always a good base for soup. It just adds loads of flavor. And then I added the chopped carrot and then sauteed that in some olive oil. When the onion and carrot were nearly cooked, I added the pumpkin and some red lentils for a bit of protein just to make it a bit more filling. I added garlic, salt, black pepper, some turmeric, other seasonings and a big jug of veggie stock and then let that simmer for about 20 minutes and then blended it up and this was so delicious and then I also roasted some pumpkin seeds with some salt garlic and so yummy so so yummy look who's so gorgeous sitting next to me while I eat my soup you are just the most gorgeous thing I've ever seen in my entire life yes you are and I think you know it I think you know it guys the soup is so yummy and the little roasted pumpkin seeds are like crunchy little croutons and they taste so yummy and like smoky almost because obviously they're being roasted. Mm. I do make a delicious soup. A delicious soup. Welcome home. Welcome home. Can you show everyone the new pumpkin please? He's a big boy. He's a monster pumpkin. That's what it's advertised as. Oh, he doesn't even look that big on the camera. It's bloody huge. Is that, is that actually hard? Look at that. 
one of your five a day. Imagine <laughs> if you ate that entire pumpkin five times. Is it actually really heavy to lift up? Put your arm out. You ready? No. <gasps> no, stop. Stop. No, I can't. It's gonna break my bloody wrist. <laughs> weather essential for me is drinking about six cups of herbal tea a day. I'm obsessed with the pucker, what is it? It's three ginger. It has ginger, turmeric, something else I can't remember, but it's so yummy. It really fires your insides up and makes you feel warm and cozy, you know what I mean? I've had a bit of a sore throat, so I've been putting honey in. It's very yummy. Guys, my nails. What is going on? What is going on? Why haven't I sorted this out yet? I just can't bring myself. I've been really anxious recently and I can't bring myself to go to the nail salon because I get anxious in the nail salon anyway. I don't know. I just feel like I'm tra trapped there and can't escape and I just can't bring myself to go. I'm going to go next week because this is just, it's not acceptable. It's absolutely not acceptable. <laughs> Look at the size of that bad lad. You can't even tell on camera. Let me put my hand next to it for... No, you can't tell on camera, but it's fucking huge. I've been trying to export a YouTube video for the past two days and it won't export. It says there's an error at the end and I've noticed it's when I leave any text in, it won't export, but I can't do this video without any text in because some things just won't make sense. And I'm ready to smash this fucking laptop against the fucking wall. I swear to God, I swear to God, I have tried to save this at least 30 times it's driving me insane like i don't understand how having a sentence of texting is making it crash and not save i don't understand i don't understand guys i have a good feeling this time i don't know why i just feel like it's gonna save this time it's taken longer than usual i just i have a feeling i'm manifesting <laughs> guys i was right I'm so happy I've waited days for this moment. Just having a little afternoon decaf coffee in the most gorgeous mug that my best friend got me for Christmas last year or my birthday, one of the two. It's so pretty. I think she got it from Etsy. It's like a one of a kind mug. It's so gorgeous. Mm, a little bit of cinnamon on the top of your coffee. Divine. Not as good as chalky, chalky powder, but it's delicious. Actually, I'm preferring the cinnamon at the minute. Hello. Hi. Did you lose? One four nil. Well, why are we going? Ooh. Monster pumpkin. Ah. Okay, this is what I'm going for. Let's see if we can execute it well. I do have a mini pumpkin to go inside as well. Are you raw dogging it with your hands? Oh, is the spade in there? The spade. Looks like you're helping a woman give birth. It's breach. The placenta. <laughs> So this is mine. I love it so much. It's so cute. And then this is Jamie's. The classic. You can't go wrong with a classic pumpkin. I think maybe here? One on each side? I don't know. That'll do for now. Hello, hello, hello. So it's actually the next day right now because I couldn't find my camera last night for love nor money. And I found it down the side of the bed, but I had just I couldn't film because I couldn't find my camera. But here we are. It's Sunday. It's actually been such a nice day. It's going to get... Oh, you can't see. It's going to get dark soon. But it's been so sunny and so nice. And I've just made some lentil cottage pie. And I'm so excited to eat it. I'm just waiting eagerly, eagerly, eagerly for Jamie to get home from work so we can munch it down. So I did a homemade mash, like a lentil ragu. I made some homemade gravy, excuse me. Who is she? Who is she? Who is she? Um, and then I'm gonna do some tender stem broccoli and peas on the side, I think. Maybe some carrots, maybe not, I don't know. Wow, my hair looks crazy right now. Um, but yeah, I'm very excited. I'm in the mood for a nice cozy, cozy meal. I had my pumpkin soup for lunch again today. It was stupid. Endless. Soup's one of those things that's even nicer the next day, I think, because it has more time to kind of infuse. It's always a bit thicker the next day, I think, which I enjoy because I love thick soup. Watery soup? 
No, thank you, ma'am. I'm just gonna be all cozy on my bed and watch some YouTube videos and wait for Jamie to get home so I can put the cottage pie into the oven. I forgot to mention I did cheesy mash for the top. Oh, delicious. Okay, so I'm frying up some tender stem brock for the side and some peas and she's in the oven. Guys, she is gorgeous. You can't hear it on the camera, but it's bubbling. Bubble, bubble, toil and trouble. It looks so yummy. The cheese has gone like caramelized. Delish. I just had a cheeky little taste. It's so good. Ooh, absolutely. Absolutely. Yes, please. Name a better comfort meal than that. And we're gonna eat this. We made the house of the fall of Usher, which is very, very good. It's not scary. Not scary at all, but it's good. Apparently I got the words mixed up. I was gonna say the fall of the house of Usher. For dessert, we have some kooky dough balls, some peppermint tea, and the pumpkins are a lit. I love them so much. This is just the best pumpkin I've ever seen in my entire life. Okay guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. I thought I'd include these clips and pictures of the Halloween party I went to. I went as the white swan and I looked fucking incredible if I do say so myself. I like sewed the feathers and made the headpieces and stuff and I had so much fun making it and my friends looked fantastic. Halloween's just my favourite time of year. Love you, bye! Love you lots and lots and lots and lots.